Hello friends, this video on Forests Our Lifeline Part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam in the water table. However, the unfortunate part is that even though forests are so important to us, forests serve so many purposes. But these days there is a big threat to forests. And the most unfortunate part is that human activities pose a threat to the forest. And that that threat is nothing but deforestation. So it is really unfortunate that we are getting so much benefit due to the existence of forests. But we only at some other time, we are cutting down trees in the forests. We are like cutting down huge number of trees and we are completely uh, vanishing the entire forests just for our own benefit. Now, do you know why do human beings cut forests sometimes to set up factories in that area to set up industries to set up uh, human settlements sometimes to make furnitures they cut down big trees so just to fulfill their requirements without thinking anything they just cut down the trees they, they just uh, make forests disappear and this is what is called as deforestation deforestation that means something which is removing the forest so that is deforest so cutting down of trees is deforestation and it is a very serious threat. So deforestation is the permanent destruction or conversion of forest areas for other purposes. Now what are these other purposes? Now mostly these other purposes would include setting up of factories, industries or using up that forest area land for agricultural purposes because when you use it for agriculture you are actually growing crops. Then you can sell the crops, you can make some money. So now again why do we do all this that's because again there are a lot of reasons which are responsible for deforestation taking place so if you want to see how fast deforestation in taking place in various parts of the world so for instance let's take example of india so in india before in the earlier days forests covered a good portion of the entire um, land so you see here the green area represents forest and it was almost you know 30 percent it was it was like a good percentage of land which was being covered by forest but over a period of time like within a span of 10 20 years it was found that the amount of forest has reduced this much so you see from here from this much of area now you have lesser green area so this shows that the amount the amount of forested land is decreasing with each passing day and this is a very big threat so we are actually reducing our forests and we have seen it for ourselves that forests are our green lungs. They solve so many purpose for us. So if we are diminishing them, so indirectly it is going to harm us only. Now there are various causes because of which deforestation happen. One major cause is overpopulation. Now since the population is increasing very fast, needs of the people are also increasing. Now since needs are increasing, so people need, people want more houses to stay. So they are cutting down forests to establish human settlements. They need more crops to be cultivated. So they are converting forested lands into agricultural lands and so on and so forth. Agriculture, yes, of course, as I said, when the population increases, people want more food items. So they want to cultivate more crops. Human settlements, they need places to stay, making furniture. So they cut down huge number of trees to make more and more furniture. Fuel, now wood also acts as an excellent fuel. So that way is also for trees are being cut. Forest fires, now this is something which is not uh, due to human activity. Now sometimes when due to lack of rainfall, the trees and the leaves become so dry that they tend to catch fire in presence of sunlight also. And due to forest fires, there is there happens tremendous loss of trees in the forests. So that is also another natural cause of deforestation. Industries, setting up of industries and factories, now, these are the causes, but when you look at the harmful effects of deforestation, then you realize that it is actually a very serious threat. So some of the harmful effects are loss of species. Now, when the forests are not there anymore, what happens to those animals which were living inside the forest? They also get lost. A lot of them die over a period of time and therefore the entire species get lost. Soil erosion. Now, due to lack of trees, the soil becomes loose and they get easily carried away during rainfall. So that, that means we lose the precious or the important top layer of soil. 
increased concentration of carbon dioxide now when plants were there they used to take in carbon dioxide so they used to reduce the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere but when there are no plants what happens is the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere keeps on increasing and carbon dioxide has a property that it acts as greenhouse gas that is it tries to trap the infrared radiation of the sun now i will not get into the detail of that right now but all i want to say is when the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases it results in global warming it results in overall increase in temperature of the earth because carbon dioxide is one of the greenhouse gases methane carbon dioxide these are the main greenhouse gases so they have the ability to trap infrared radiation and infrared radiation results in increase in temperature so that means it is not desirable to have high level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere lowered ground water level now as we saw that when you have soil when you have a forested area so it is easier for water to pass or to seep through the soil now when the forested area is converted into a factory so the cemented floor of the factory will not allow water to pass through and get and increase the level of ground water obviously so that means when the forest is converted into industries or factories or human settlements so the ground water level also decreases because now ground water is not receiving any water from rainfall destroy forest ecosystem so the entire ecosystem inside the forest gets spoiled because uh, the animals insects birds everybody lose their habitat so they also lose trace of their food habits they do not get proper food so the entire ecosystem get disturbed possibility of flood increases now as i said when you have lot of trees the flood doesn't happen because uh, the one thing is uh, presence of so many trees uh, do not allow water logging on the ground so it doesn't allow water first of all to directly hit the ground so water drips in through the forest canopy over the leaves and the branches and that's how it gradually reaches drop by drop to the soil so therefore due to the presence of forests floods can be avoided but when there are no forests possibility of flood also increases and we all know that flood can cause huge destruction of life and property now the question is when the we are causing deforestation like human beings are the main cause behind deforestation but who are the victims of deforestation who are directly suffering now if you talk so the real victims of the process of deforestation are the animals who are living there the animals insects birds because they are losing their habitat they are losing their source of food so it becomes very difficult for them to survive so forests are the primary targets for deforestation and the primary impact of deforestation is also on the animals and the living organisms residing in the forest however uh, indirectly this impacts deforestation impacts the entire environment it impacts all the organisms living on this earth as i said the primary victims would always be the plants and the animals living in, within the forests now based on whatever we have discussed so far we can truly say that forests are truly our lifeline now some of the uh, things which forests do are it provides habitat to animals birds and insects it also provides food and shelter to many human beings who live as tribes within forest support growth of plants so many plants huge trees small shrubs herbs everything grow in the forest and that is possible only because of the soil fertility and all the other environmental factors maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and that is why they are called green lungs provide useful products to us like wax gums honey etc furniture making is another useful thing which comes actually from the trees maintains water table no the rainfall water is allowed to uh, go deep under the ground and that's how it can restore the ground water prevent floods due to the presence of large number of trees uh, it prevents water logging on the ground and therefore it prevents floods prevent soil erosion it holds the soil so tightly the plants that uh, uh, it becomes difficult for soil to get carried away by wind or water there are many plants which have medicinal use uh, like uh, some part of their plants either roots stem or leaves they are extremely they they are extremely beneficial in treating certain diseases 
Now, considering all these benefits or all these important functions of forest, we can say that yes, they are truly our lifeline. That is, it is very much important for us to retain the forest for our survival. So, as I said, deforestation at the initial stage might impact the animals living in the forest, but on the in the long run, it is going to impact all living organisms on Earth. So therefore, we need to take care of forest. We need to stop deforestation. In fact, we need to take care of them. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.